All right, what is up, everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Pyre, and I don't know. Part of me feels like we're getting close to the end here because we're getting a lot of loose ends starting to tie together. But then again, it feels like, depending on how you look at it, there are things like, I mean, our character levels could be higher. We've only done the, uh, the special challenge for two of our many allies, and so if you look at that, that would suggest that maybe we aren't as far along, so I don't really know. We'll see. But anyways, it looks like, at the very least, we're headed towards a very interesting encounter or two. At dawn, Volfred is already up. He reveals to you, halfway through the woods, into the cold lands to the north, beyond which lies your next destination. Right? The Sclorian Shore. You have not yet been to this region of the downside, but Volfred revealed this to be the one path through the woods into the north. Let's do it. I still don't know how much I trust Volfred. I know there was a lot of build-up to him, but at the same time, I feel like he knows too much. And for that reason, he's a risk. He's dangerous. So I'm not sure how much we ought to trust him. Or the minstrel, for that matter, because those two seem to be pretty closely tied together. Anyways, you get closer to the woods at last. Or you clear the, the woods at last, I should say. And arrive in lands grown cold in the shadow of Mount Elodie. You will have to make it all the way to the top. In a moment of respite, Volfred calls everyone together to discuss matters pertaining to the rites and the plan to which he alluded. You banded together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is not impossible. Am I correct? But let me ask you something. What does freedom me even mean to you? He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. You cannot sense his own thoughts on the subject, and only know the truth of how you feel. What does freedom mean to you? Okay, we have a lot of options here. Freedom means being able to make decisions on your own terms. Sure. Doing what you want, and... That description, achieving inner peace, freedom means having a clear conscience and a carefree heart. Could be. Having no master, freedom means answering to no one's will other than your own. Going where you please, freedom means being able to go where the heart yearns without restriction and without fear. Feel true love, freedom means not having one's strongest feelings and emotions repressed or rebuffed. Living without fear, Freedom means living life without concern for others' judgment or approval. Nothing at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Freedom is just another empty goal to chase. To give one's life a false sense of meaning? Wow. That is harsh. Or remain silent. I mean, that too. Freedom means not being forced into responding to such questions. That is good. That is really funny. <laughs> Part of me wants to, wants to choose that just to see how people would react. But I think, honestly, this first answer is, uh, is pretty, pretty accurate. Let's go with this. You tell Volfred that freedom means having choice. If you are able to do what you want, both physically and socially, then you are free. He considers your remarks for a short while. Choice is freedom, then, you say. If that is all, then you are free already. Go, my boy. Do as you please. Nobody's here to govern you. I trust, however, that this is not the freedom that you have in mind. Perhaps you simply wish to return home and to be left alone. Then he turns his attention to the whole group. Now, let me tell you all what freedom means to me. Freedom means to live life without fear. And that was one of our options. Interesting. I wonder what would have happened if we had picked that to be able to indulge one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to others, without the constant threat of judgment and Freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know, or whom you love, or what you choose to think or not think. Okay, not fair, he's choosing all of the answers and we could only pick one. He looks out toward the distant mountains. Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. 
could see the Commonwealth once more. Alright, maybe we are getting close to the, the end here then. And you would be exalted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you would not be truly free, I think. At the least, you would become complicit to an ancient system that would design, cast down others such as you. That would deign to cast down others such as you. It is a system whose well-intentioned founding principles have long been lost, and the eight scribes, if they are out there still, have made quite clear they shall not intervene firsthand. If they're going to intervene you, through you, is that what you're trying to imply? That is where you come in. Or through us. He turns to you and everyone again, looking to each of you. Long have I wished to gather such a group, that together you might see that seeking freedom only for yourselves is too modest of a goal. You share a higher calling now. The plan, then, is this. We free each other from the downside, through the rights. Then we meet up on the other side. We organize. Each new moon at dusk, we join together at the Spiral Sanctum. We need as many of us there as possible. My agents on the other side shall explain the rest. The Spiral Sanctum is a burned down remains of the old capital of the Commonwealth. Remains, if the remains stand as a warning to those who would seek to spread forbidden knowledge. Hmm. Hey. You're plotting a revolt. Just so. I am asking a lot. You do have other options. The seat, however, is not one of them. The reader and myself, you know by now that we can see through it. But you need not be part of this, nor is it in my interest to coerce you. You may go your own way, if you wish. Live out your remaining days here, like so many others. So, if anyone among you prefers that, you cannot see yourself continuing to strive together in the Commonwealth, as you are doing here, then speak now. Fulfred pauses for a time, examining each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourselves friends, some others not. But all of you are bound together through the rites and are integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek true freedom? You will not find it waiting for you in the Commonwealth. But together, you can bring it about, both for yourselves and others. That is my promise. Then he lets out a long breath. That's it. I ask you all to think on this, and let's reconvene along our journey to the summit. Bullfred turns toward the mountains, leading you to consider what he said, and plot the wagon's northward path. Interesting. Okay, so that means that this is just, I mean, yes, we may be nearing the end of our time in the downside, but there could be more from there. Your pass. Our pathway leading north to the sacred mountain. Bullfred indicates that this is the only way to reach the base of Mount Elodiel. I mean... Sure, sounds like we don't have a choice. Beyond this lies Mount Alodio. I suggest we make camp here, at the base of the mountain, where we shall need our spirits and our strength to make the ascent. The Beyonder Crystal seeks headwind. Okay. I mean, that certainly sounds like something that we should try to do quite soon. Although I do wonder what Bulford has to say. Given that he just dropped a whole lot of knowledge on us. There you are. There was something which I wanted to discuss with you in private. Bulford stares at you rather intently as if reaching out to you and then... You do know what it means to be a reader? Those such as we. What are you doing? We are not limited to reading pages from a book. 
though your ability in this sense is or, though your ability in this I sense is nascent still mere flashes uncontrollable I see as well now that they're that they haven't told you yet your friends and that explains a lot uh oh is there more to this job than we know they haven't told you readers such as you cannot go free uh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure who to trust. I know you seem to be trying to play the expert here, but I also feel like you could very well be trying to manipulate us. I had wondered why you would insist on pressing onward with this group in light of this. The answer, then, was plain. You simply did not know or fully realize. They did not deceive you. By the way, there is no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq, who shall not influence your thinking in such matters. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that was one of the things, is that I didn't feel like Hedwin in particular doesn't seem like the deceptive type. He's been very upfront with us, and I wouldn't think that he would go this long without letting us know pretty serious detail. In fact, he's even said that we go free with him. He said the opposite of what Volfred's saying here. Tariq, however, the minstrel has been certainly more cryptic, and Volfred, I still don't trust him yet. Rather, I had expected, when at first we met, that you already knew the truth. This from having read the passage in the Book of Rites, which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rites first hand shall walk the path towards enlightenment, and become eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have not gotten to that part just yet. Bullfred breaks free from you and looks at you again. Then he speaks to you as normal. I mean, okay, so the Book of Rights might say it, but I still can't help but feel that maybe there's some scenario in which only one of the readers gets to go through, and he's trying to set it up such that we assume we can't go so that he can find a way out. It is plain that you are not in an adequate condition to conduct the rites, and this group values you as reader. I wish only to ensure you understand what you are getting into. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promises might have been shared, I do not think the rights can help you to return. That is what you had in mind. So, once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see to it that you are compensated. See, that's what I think this is coming down to, is that's basically his plan, he is to kick us out so that he can replace us and get freedom instead of us. Do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome. This journey we are on has no guarantees, not for you, not for any one of us. Do you understand? Wolfred indicates that readers such as you cannot go free through the rites. <laughs> Say you do you understand. There's more at stake here than your freedom alone, and besides, perhaps there is a way. I mean, I certainly feel that way. But say you do not care. You have learned in life to keep your expectations low and temperate. Yeah, that doesn't feel like the way we've been uh, approaching this throughout the game thus far, so I'm not inclined to go this way. Say nothing if Volfred really wishes to know your thoughts on the subject, and he knows to where to find them. I think we go this way. Well, yeah, let's say we understand. We may want to deliberately withhold that we are not so trustful of him, if there's any way to do that. So. You understand the words of warning, yet, just the same, you choose to carry on. There's more that you wish to achieve on this journey than freedom for yourself. I admire that, my boy. Then, very well. Now that we have much at stake here, in this, anyway. We know that we have much at stake here, in this, anyway. Much more than just a shot at going back into the Commonwealth, which cast us down here to begin with. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, consider that he just said that once we get to the Commonwealth, he says he has an elaborate plan for us. So, if he's a reader, 
then he wouldn't be able to take place in that himself. I mean, he says he has associates on the other side that can help coordinate all that stuff for him. But yeah, I, it just doesn't seem to add up to me. It sounds like you intend to stick around. Then we'll have lots more time to chat as we ascend the sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then, he strides out the wagon, and then, leaving you with your thoughts. Okay, so we do have... Edwin. Who can do his trial. You have come upon me for some purpose, my reader. You have invoked Sandra, and I would like to request a scribe trial. Of course, reader. You need but think on who shall be the subject of my trial, and we shall go from there. Alright, and... Certainly seems like Hedwin is, I'm assuming, the only person we have, because Dardariel's already done it, Rookie's already done it, and everyone else, I believe, is still ineligible. Yeah, so this is the other reason why I feel like, or felt like, we were not very far along, or, you know, not about to finish the game, because we have so many people who have yet to do this. And surely, all of them will have their shot before the game is over. Oh, yes, let's give him a talisman. You are correct. Uh, but which one? Recovery after being banished, maybe quickness. I mean, he's not super speedy. That may not be the most notable thing, and then that doesn't do anything for you. That, ooh, what about this? I think this is the way to go. And give this back to Jodario, because this is her talisman alone. She's the only one that can use it, because she got it for doing these trials. Okay. Give you this. Again, we could potentially gain some extra coins if we were to use the lucrative contract here. Because I don't think you would otherwise get any coins out of this, but let's just stick with something that keeps us gives us more of a direct power boost. You ask Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Hedwig. Oh, you must mean that nomad boy. So innocent that one. You should have a lot of work to do with him. Then let us bring him forth. Soon, Edwin appears in heat of the summons. Hey, my friend. What's going on? We're bringing you in for a challenge. Nomads such as Edwin have well-balanced abilities in the rights, but I missed the butt. But we're gonna see how he stacks up. The apparition of Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, boy. You answer to me here. Understood. You are a fool! Do not talk back at me. Your reliance on your friends is such a burden upon them. Let us see what you can do without their aid. Save for that of your lovely leader there. Okay, three enemies. Oh, we're just starting right up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, excuse me, I totally got you there. I do not agree with that. Oh, uh oh. Too fast. Oh, but so are you. Yeah, this, this ain't gonna end very well, is it? It's a tough one. Except we got that. When they start with only 60, not 100. Just notable. Oh, no! Should have sprinted out of the way. That's gonna be tough. We're gonna be relying on that early advantage, I think, quite a bit. Oh, no! I walked straight into that. That was silly. I was still invulnerable at the time. Oh, thank goodness we got that one. Where's the, what? How did you get it? I didn't even know that you had it. Did you pass it to your friend there at the end? Ah! Oh, you cut me off. That was devious. Oh, we avoided it, we avoided it. No! 
I was trying to get the infinite stamina. It was right there. If we got that, we probably would have made it. Maybe pass it to your friend. I saw that. No, you are so fast. Oh, that was also quite silly. Okay, we're in trouble now. We're in some pretty serious trouble. Yep. I think we're one away from losing this. I don't know what happens if we do lose. Do we get another shot at it? We may not. No! Ah! Oh, hit that wall. He's so fast! No! He cut us off at the very end. Infinite stamina! Oh, we still need one more. It's sudden death. Next one wins it. I don't think we can pull this off at the moment. Not with everyone stationed so close. I don't know how we're supposed to pull this off. Oh, I tried to jump. I failed. No, that's gonna be it. We lost. I don't know. Can we give it another shot? I don't know if we can. That did not go well. You're right, Edwin. Pitiful, the nomad boy is all spark and no fire. I would tell you not to waste my time, boy. The truth is that my time is there for you to waste. Summon me when you are feeling more prepared. Ooh, that implies that we can give it another shot. You wish to reattempt his scribe trial? Yes. Very close. Um, let's see, what did we learn? I think that Talisman was not doing us too many favors because yes, we are relying on taking out enemies to a certain extent um, in order to gain that advantage because it's three against one. But the number of times, I mean, we might've scored once with the bonus from that infinite stamina there, but it uh, otherwise seemed like it wasn't doing us much good. <laughs> that one again? We shall see if he fares any better this time. See, I'm not sure if I'll get the chance to try to swap out our talisman or not. We may not. Oh no. I mean, I think jumping is certainly something that we needed to do more of. Ah, looks like we're starting right up. We are. I started to jump, I swear. I did it. It wasn't working. What? And you sped, sped past me. I was ready to attack you, but it wasn't enough. I thought I, I swear I was holding attack and it didn't do anything that time. And I, then I clicked out of the game and, oh dear. Okay, this is not starting well, in case that wasn't abundantly clear. And that, I object. You were well dead at that point. Got it. Ooh, that was close. I think we really need to be mindful of the way that we're using these. Oh, so fast! Even the guy who's supposed to be the same size as me is still going considerably faster than me. Oh, that was so lucky that we got that to work. And that was also very quick. Lucked out there. Oh, and I did not think you had that range. Man, man, they are just showing me up. I mean, a lot of this is sloppy play, admittedly, on my part. But like that, that hurts. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. That was almost a blown opportunity there, but that advantage that we have to start uh, is going to be a big deal. Where we got him? Man! Ah! 
No! Okay, we do have infinite stamina for a moment here. We are going to use it. Oh, but it ran out at the worst time. I saw that. I saw what you were doing there. So we need to we need to jump. That's what we need to do more often. Oh my god. Their timing is just so much better than mine. They're so deliberate with when they attack, when they dash. I think that we have the opportunity that we're, we're free, and we very much aren't. Like that. Are you kidding me? That didn't hit you! What? What? I object. I object. I think we ought to have had that one. I mean, at this rate, I mean, it, it's just gonna be, we need the luck to work in our fashion. Cause we're so close at these, but for whatever reason, I mean, I will be the first to admit, some of these are just not good plays on my part. We're losing the close battles. You know, the ones where, like this. I swear I'm trying to jump here. Get there! Okay, good, good, good. There we go, the jump is key. The jump is key. Absolutely need to be using it more aggressively. I think that is primary difference. Ooh, okay, okay. I stand by that. Oh, I ran past it! Oh, that was so silly and that was it, right? We would've won there. Tried to jump immediately, but that was admittedly a bit um, optimistic. Oh, and I pressed the wrong button. I meant to jump there. Perhaps not so surprisingly. Oh, and he jumped over me. Well done. Oh, yeah, they can definitely pick up the infinite stamina as well. Okay, interesting. Oh! Oh, I thought I had it! That was just also poor management on my part. Wow. Are we gonna throw this one away? I don't know. I don't know. That was that was just mean. All these times where we get our attack in first. That much is true. Excuse me. Excuse me! Are you serious? Wow, this is not going well. Not going well. Every time. Every time. They trade one for one and they win. I don't get it. But there it is. Oh boy. That was so much more difficult than it should have been. And I will admit, absolutely. I did not play well there, but I am so happy to get that done. We did it. It took us three tries, but and it was still very close, but we did it. It seems you did indeed, boy. Your performance was sufficient. You passed my test. Well, I mean, barely. Thus, congratulations are in order. To you and to your lovely data. Now farewell. We know not everyone could leave who wanted. Seldom would the opportunity arise. Good to be back, after all that. I'm with you, Hedwin. Say, what's that you have there? You received Gold Bracer for completing Hedwin's trial. Alright, I hope this is amazing. 
Hedwin power casts his aura with greater ease and gains infinite stamina on hit for two seconds. Infinite stamina does sound really good, and power cast is also something that I have been neglecting for the most part. Ugh. I mean, yeah, it seems like this could very well be the best talisman to, to give him. So I'm all about it, now that we have it, but that was painful. That was quite painful. In fact, that took us long enough that, you know what, I think this might actually be a good place for us to end this video here, but, well, I mean, it may have been difficult, and I, I've said it many times, but I mean, that's a good sign that, uh, we need to mix up our strategies a little bit there, and sure, I mean, it was three on one, and that makes it all the more difficult, but we need to be doing more jumping, we need to be doing power casting, and all that stuff, we need all the we need to use all the skills that we can because as the game gets further along it's just going to get more and more difficult thankfully with this one we're allowed to retry it but we won't be so lucky if it's happening in the actual rights so with that i think i'm gonna wrap this one up here thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it, and i'll see you in the next one